Next, another fantastic phrase, it's up to you. It's up to you. When something is up to you or up to him or up to them or up to someone else, it just means it's their choice or their responsibility. They can decide what something is they want to do. As an example, I'm talking with a group of my friends or even if it's just my wife and I, we are thinking, okay, let's go out to dinner tonight. Where should we go? And I maybe I don't have a good idea, so I say, well, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Now, you will often hear this as up to you, up to you, up to you, up to you, up to you. And again, I'm pronouncing it quickly because when native speakers say this, they say it as one thing, up to you, up to you. It's almost like a, like a D sound, up to you, up to you. But the D is very quiet. Now, people understand this phrase when they hear it and they know in this situation, people will be using that, so this is why you don't have to pronounce things so clearly. But if you sound more like a native, when you do pronounce things like this, uh, again, trying to say the whole phrase like it's one word, up to you, up to you. So where should we go for dinner tonight? I don't know, it's up to you, it's up to you. If you'd like to learn hundreds more useful words and phrases, subscribe to the EnglishAnyone.com YouTube channel. And be sure to click the bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. And if you'd like to know exactly what to do to become a successful English speaker, click on the link in this video or on the link in the description below this video to tell me what your biggest communication problem is. Answer five quick questions and I'll send you a free, personalized guide that will help you start speaking more like a native today. It takes less than a minute and you can download your free guide instantly. So click on the link in this video or on the link in the description below this video and start getting fluent now. See you in the next video.